Hello and welcome, Rangers. I'm Joe here with me is Mikao Stan. Hello and greetings. And today we've got another Zordon Files video for you all. That's right, we're continuing this playlist. Namely, we're going to be analyzing Leo and why he couldn't pick up the Quasar Sword from the stone. Now, I know that in universe they theorized that's because the sword wanted Mike Corbett to take it, and it was Mike's duty to give it over to Leo. And while this does make sense, is worth exploring. Namely, the fact that Leo, when we first see him, is something of a, I don't want to say criminal, but he's not exactly the most okay guy. He's clearly someone with a possible criminal record. He's clearly overattached to his older brother with severe separation anxiety. And he tends to take others for granted. When he sees Maya and Kendrick's fighting, he grins and seems to take great pleasure in watching the ensuing cat fight despite the visible distress of Kendrick's and immaturity and narcissism of Maya on display. How do these flaws and faults impact Leo's inability to pick up the sword. I think they're the reason why he couldn't. Because he was a flawed individual. Yeah, this seems like a bit of an oversimplification, but he is the most flawed on that team in some ways. But Leo, as it stands at the beginning, is not worthy. To draw the sword, you're obviously following in the footsteps of King Arthur of Arthurianic mythologies. In mythology, Arthur needed a pure heart and to be of royal lineage, which he had both, so that he's got to be the perfect warrior in a way to draw the sword. And the perfect warrior in, to go back to Arthuriana would be Gawain, the Maiden's Knight. Leo's not the Maiden's Knight. He's, at the start, pretty self-centered, self-serving, selfish, and self-centered. Whereas Mike Corbett is a natural leader, He's kind, he's valiant, he puts others' needs before his own. Well, he's trying to push his brother out of the nest and trying to also grow as a person himself. So with that said, why didn't he get the green sword? I'm kidding, because Damien doesn't seem to have almost any personality. The Blue Ranger from, from Lightspeed Rescue has more personality. And present, because yeah. Damien doesn't really... Damien fades into the background. ...character that he could remove and would have no impact on the story. No, no, that, that, that's very true. I think the most important characters in this season were probably Mike and Leo and Kai. Though arguably Kendrick's got pretty important. But if you were to remove Maya and Damon, season would be the exact same. That's a flaw Lost Galaxies kind of has, but at the same time it's a solid season. It's a really good one. Leo's flaws are glaring and he's not only not a leader at the start, it seems kind of like Kendrick's and Kai are more leading the team than Leo initially. He's just the annoying little brother they have to put up with. And he's the jerk that is busy taking advantage of them reeling in the slack as fast as they can cut it. He's one of my favorite Red Rangers from the word go because he's so darn flawed. He's nothing at all like TJ or Tommy. Actually, Mike is more like Tommy. And arguably, Leo has more in common with probably Rocky. But on the other hand, Rocky was faster to smarten up because deep down, Rocky had a responsible side. Leo doesn't. Leo actually has to suffer quite a bit and dig, dig down deep and deep for that. But once he draws it out, he becomes one of the most Boy Scoutish Red Rangers out, which is a pretty interesting side of the character as he goes from one extreme to the other. What's more is that this flawed nature of his shows the character progression with how easily he can draw the sword in Lightspeed Rescue. On the other hand, if you want to look at it from a metaphysical point of view, he was not yet fully Red Ranger material. He can morph, but it's clear that the sword was meant more for Mike. Mike Corbett. Mike, who ultimately later passes down the mantle quite happily, regarding it as Leo's destiny to be the Red Ranger, not his own. The Magna Avenger costume looks terrible. The powers... Or just really they should have made Mike the Green Ranger or something or a Silver Ranger or a Titanium one anything but put him in that costume sorry I'm not a fan of those powers just looks too much like a toy and that is something that a bit of a weakness when it comes to transitioning Super Sentai to Power Rangers consider whether a costume would translate well in the West. I don't think we've got much more to say without getting into an episode by episode analysis. So we'll leave it there. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like and that subscribe button as though you were Leo tearing apart one of his enemies. And remember Rangers, may, may the, the power, power protect, protect you. you.